Garmin Pilot features an easy-to-use interface that provides access to numerous electronic flight bag, or EFB, capabilities. These capabilities include route planning using the flight plan function, developing a plan for the flight using the trip planning function, which provides for filing the plan, creating a nav log, downloading a comprehensive briefing, creation of a charts package for your trip, and numerous situational awareness tools. The series of videos we've created is designed to provide you with an in-depth look at the features typically used by commercial operators as part of their EFB program. We include recommendations for policies and procedures for managing the EFB program, including the recommended training program, operational use of personal electronic devices with the Garmin Pilot application, and security for the devices. As required in EFB training courses, we include a video for training the how-tos of operation of the personal electronic device most often used in EFB programs, including recommendations for powering the devices while in flight. Then you move on to a video covering a description of the icon and symbols used in Garmin Pilot. Here you'll learn how information is represented and which icons to select to find the information you need to manage pre-flight planning and situational awareness during flight. Next, we cover the map display features of Garmin Pilot that help you to manage your flights and provide the opportunity for improved situational awareness. First, we review the radial menu, which provides access to information about selected features on the map. And then we discuss selection of the map or chart for display and selecting map overlays. Then we take a look at the split screen selections, which provide a number of resources that can be viewed along with the moving map display. Moving on from there, we discuss the map view orientations available along with range selections that optimize situational awareness during various phases of flight. In the next video in the series, we discuss electronic charts and how they can be displayed within Garmin Pilot. We'll discuss the chart package that gets created for you when you enter an origin and destination airport, and limitations of your own ship display on these charts. The flight plan creation video that follows reviews how flight plans can be created, including selection of instrument procedures, entering airways, and modifying a flight plan. The next video covers the trip planning function. Here, we discuss how. Once a flight plan has been created, you select Create Trip to bring your route information into the Filing and Briefing section of Garmin Pilot. The Trip Planning function is where you enter the filing information, develop a nav log, obtain briefing information for the flight, and, if configured for your aircraft, enter weight and balance information. The next video brings everything together in a scenario-based example flight where you can observe a flight crew employing crew resource management skills as they employ the Garmin Pilot EFB functionality to manage their flight. After the flight scenario video, you next go to the EFB Abnormals and Limitations video, where we discuss the importance of ensuring valid databases and charts are available for a flight how best to handle application crashes and PED abnormals, and limitations of the EFB. The final video in the series is a recap of key points made in the course. This is intended to ensure you have gained sufficient knowledge of the things that will most contribute to your success in the EFB program. Okay, so that concludes the introduction to this series of videos. Please move on to our next video in the series titled Policies and Procedures.